<laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Ken Wheeler. Yeah. I'm okay. the director of Open Source at Formidable. Um, very drunk on Twitter. Are you drunk now? No. I saw some whiskey earlier. Yeah, I, I did. I, I've yet to imbibe. <laughs> Today, at least. Um, so the React community is really cool and amazing and forward-thinking, and you're probably one of the more forward-thinking people in the React community. Is that right? Would you say that's true? I don't know if I could give myself a title like that. It's <laughs> awfully complimentary. But uh, yeah, I'd like to think of myself as forward-thinking. <laughs> well, there's a lot of interesting projects happening in the React community, and I see that you're, you're, you're doing a lot of things with React that aren't for the web. So tell us a little more about that. Sure, yeah. So um, drunk Ken Wheeler comes up with ideas that sober Ken Wheeler builds. And that's kind of how that works. Uh -huh. So, you know, I mean, uh, I guess like Spectacle was the first one, right? I was sitting there with Keynote, and I'm like, oh, I fucking hate Keynote. It's like the worst. It's not really the worst, but, you know, at the time, like, I didn't feel like learning and put it all together. So, you know, I was like, why can't I just write this in React? I wrote Spectacle, you know, it's a presentation framework in React, so I could write my slides in React. So I'm writing React all day long. Why would I go into this, like, GUI? Didn't make any sense. Plus, I guess the added benefit there is that, you know, if you're talking about React with React as your, you can embed React into the, into the presentation. When you're giving a presentation with React on React, you can embed React. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we find this? Yo, dog. <laughs> um, where do you find it? Yeah. On a Formidable Labs GitHub. Oh, very exciting. Yeah. And it's called Spectacle. That's right. Not like the Snapchat lenses. No, no. I was Spectacle first. Yeah. Actually, there was some like OSX windowing program who was actually Spectacle first. But I was <laughs> at least second. Snapchat's third. So what do you like about the React community the best when it comes so to nice. the people? They're like super nice. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's funny. It's like a lot of the other communities, it doesn't feel like everybody's as much of friends. Uh huh. Whereas here, it feels like, I mean, maybe Angular, but you know, like React, everybody's like very good friends, Twitter friends. You know, like I'm sitting there in my house on the couch and I'm like looking tweets, like smirking. My wife's like, hey, what is that? Your internet friends? She doesn't believe they're real. <laughs> I'm like, no, I know these people, I promise. <laughs> Not just internet friends, they're real friends. Have you messed around with React VR lately? Uh, a little bit, but um, you know I have an iPhone, so <laughs> you know. Um, what other interesting projects have you created? Um, probably the most popular is uh, Slick Carousel. Okay. That was pre-React, um, and then you know React Music, React Game Kit. I mean, there's there's a lot of them. Well, tell us about React Game Kit. React Game Kit's kind of fun. Um, what it does is it lets you build games with React or React Native. We should even talk about that pretty soon, where uh, <clears throat> basically you use uh, JSX tags and it constructs a parallel uh, physics world. Um, so the JSX, however you use the props and whatnot, it sets up the different parameters for how this thing lives in the, the physics world. And then you, know, you just kind of listen for changes in the physics world and then apply that to anything that you're rendering in React or React Native. And, you have these characters that jump and skid and hit stuff and roll. <laughs> Do they drink with you? Hmm? Do they drink with you? I actually didn't do a drinking animation. So I, I made a React Game Kit game with, my, with, with me. When I first uh, presented React Game Kit, I did it in Israel at React Next. So my thing was I wanted my game character to be wearing the same thing. And so we had the same outfit on. And of course, I made like, the game character like, way handsomer, like all like Jack. I mean, but uh, yeah, oh, it, it punches, but it doesn't drink. Yeah, I feel like I, it should. Yeah, I totally blew that. <laughs> totally drink superpowers and then like get bigger. Your next talk, it can be that. There you go. Don't work out, drink and get bigger. That's right. That's right. Just drink for mass. <laughs> React Router, the newest version that was just released a few days ago. Have you messed around with it yet? I sure have. Yeah, I've tell been me. With that. Tell me more. It's fantastic. It's yeah. uh, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Right? Actually, yeah. a lot bit different, mm -hmm. you know, if you're coming from V3. But um, I think this is the right way to do it. Yeah? Tell, tell me why. Ooh. What's different? Just a great API. Mm -hmm. You know, the API this time around mm -hmm. is uh, really the React away, so to mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice. 
a lot of consideration taken into the, you know, the different targets, right? So, you know, you have like the browser router, the server router, all that stuff. So it's, uh, it's really set up nice and anticipates a lot of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So do you feel like it's going to change the world? It might. <laughs> it sure could. What's you know, life changing about React lately? Like, tell me about life, life changing things. Life like, changing things in React. Yeah, just. Well, I've been using Virtualized uh -huh, uh -huh. Pretty, a lot for the client project. And okay. it's spectacular. It's a, I, I keep having this loop of like, uh, you know, all right, client comes with this feature. Um, you know, boom, let's see what here. Ah, we probably got to get rid of Virtualize and write it custom. This is too crazy. And then I go and I'm like, oh, yeah, Virtualize lets you do that. Or, you know, there's an escape hatch to let you do that. So it's a it's really, really well-written library where, you know, they, they have the escape hatches in place where, you know, a client can be like, we can do, you know, borderline anything. I'd be like, sure, hold on, let me check the docs. And so uh, that's been life-changing for me. Um, React hardware and React native. As you know, I, I like to build uh, robot weapons in my spare time. So that's been a hoot. That can be world-changing. Robot weapons? Yeah, robot weapons. Tell me more about that. OK. Um, I, I like to shoot things. Not like shoot at, I mean, it does shoot at things, but you know, I like to casual marksmanship, so to say. So you know, all manners of archery and crossbows and what have you. So uh, I don't know why I did this. You know why I did it? Because like everybody gets an Arduino, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm going to get an Arduino. It's going to be fun. We're going to like tinker. Be makers, you know, and you go and you do like the LED, and then after you do the LED, you know, like I, I've, I've done it like three times where like I'm like, all right, this time I'm really building something. <laughs> then you do like a couple LEDs, you're like, this is cool, this is cool, and then like I don't touch it for three months, right? So I was like, you know what, I, I need to build something that is like actually something, you know, like a, a chill thing. So, in, in my, you know, it's either going to be like drinking related or weapons related with me, so I thought it'd be cool to do the weapons related one. So uh, yeah, they built a, a, a Bluetooth React Native mobile controlled robot crossbow that you could shoot. Is that on a video somewhere? Mm -hmm. Is it open source, this project? It will be. Oh, can I have it? Uh-huh. Yeah, when? Yeah, um, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, at React London. Oh, yeah. We talk all about it. Oh, I'm actually going to shoot it there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to shoot at Sebastian McKenzie? Mm-hmm. I'm going to make him hold an apple. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. Have, have Dan, Abramov, and Sebastian hold an apple and then blindfold them. That'd be perfect, right? Right. Or maybe, maybe you like two should... Maybe on the apple? Yeah, or maybe you should like not blindfold them so they can actually see what's happening. Maybe blindfold them. <laughs> so if they twitch, it's going to go really bad. <laughs> I think that's going to be the first time a weapon ever got shot on stage at a tech conference. I'm excited. Right? I'm excited, yeah. I can't Probably. remember that ever happening before. <laughs> the interesting part is going to be shipping it there. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to work. So uh, I guess I'm going to just disassemble it a little bit mm -hmm. and break it into parts and then ship it. That's going to be really interesting. It's going to be yeah. really interesting. Yeah. I'm not going to go through customs with that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, just buy it there. <laughs> put this guy in the back room for a couple minutes. <laughs> um, out of all the JavaScript frameworks, you see things like IoT focused things or. Um, yeah. Lanch. I'm gonna have you sing too, by the way. I'm gonna sing? Yeah. Okay. It'll be easy since you sing to your daughter, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You can rap it. Okay. All right. Okay. We good, Mike? Okay. Um, okay, so in all the JavaScript communities, we see a lot of really exciting new cutting edge things happen, like things related to IoT and VR, et cetera. I've seen things a little bit more productized in the React community. Um, what would you say about that? Like, is React more on the cutting edge than people like Angular or Ember, different frameworks, in playing with things like hardware, like VR? Um, you know, I don't. Games. I probably don't look enough at mm -hmm. some of those other communities to, you know, be able to speculate how far React is or not. Mm -hmm. I know that React itself. Um, you know, people are constantly doing crazy business with it, myself included. Um, and the community seems to be a lot of real outside-of-the-box characters. You know, like, I mean, 
And also, I mean, it feels like, like right now, React is leading the charge, and a lot of these other frameworks are playing catch up. You're like, oh wow, that was a cool idea. We should probably do that too. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. not always. I mean, I'm sure you know. There's a lot of cross ideas spread between them. You know, mm -hmm. it's good. Everybody works off each other's ideas. But uh, yeah, definitely in React, there's definitely a, an interesting, innovative spirit where people are like, you know, here's this thing that exists now. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to do something completely different. We're going to make up words to describe what this is. Like, and you're one of those people. Yeah. Oh, I mean, hopefully, I can continue to be that guy. <laughs> Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at Ken underscore Wheeler on Twitter, the Ken Wheeler on Instagram, uh, formidable.com forward slash about, about 23% down the page. Um, github.com forward slash Ken Wheeler. What's your phone number? 908-692-4281. Is it real? Yeah. Ooh, That's my phone I'm going to call it. Yeah, you should do it. <laughs> Everyone can call me. Go on. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? And join this dot instructor Ben Lesh to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.